Do you want to start an edible landscape but don't have land to plant? Hey, no worries. Today, we're gonna show you how to plant the perfect back porch edible landscape. Hey, I'm Dr. Arlen Hill, and I've got here today with me my wonderful wife, Leah Hill, and she has been so instrumental here at our home in putting in our edible landscape just around the back porch. Uh, not even, you know, you guys, I'm usually out there talking to you about what we're doing on the land, get our hands dirty, that type of thing. And she's been the one that's been doing everything here right out the back door. So I thought, what better opportunity than to let her be the one to share how she's done this and let you be able to implement these same things, literally just stick your hand right out the back door and grab something to eat, right? Which is why I did it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, simplicity is the key on this. So with that being said, guys, let's hear what she has hey to guys, say. Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how quick and easy this can be. Literally right outside my door, not too far from my kitchen, I have some sweet leaf basil, and we're gonna turn the camera around. I have some purple basil here, just the smell walking outside with the wind blowing it. It's just, oh, it's amazing. I have some lime. Uh, mint, some honeysuckle, um, around the fireplace I have some lime mint, jalapenos, and I'm going to show you, you can use almost anything as a pot. So this was actually, I had an extra um, fruit holder. All I did is buy some coconut husk and some organic potting soil, stuck the mint right in there, and it's a cute, adorable way to do it. So don't think you're going to have to spend a lot of money trying to get, you know, all these fancy pots and stuff. Like you can see uh, earlier I had just some regular terracotta pots. Um, a good place to get pots on the cheap is you know, a garage sale or like an antique store. So I just want to take you around the back side of the fireplace to um, show you, uh, of course, these are my tomatoes. Absolutely. I mean, I'm sorry, jalapenos. I uh, love my jalapenos. Um, around here I have some chard. I'm going to have some... Uh, I have a, a tomato uh, patio plant, some Cuban oregano, and oh my gosh, I wish... Oh, you can smell this right now. I have some lemon balm here. And again, you can almost use any old piece of furniture um, to make a plant holder. And that way you're still having the beauty of everything, uh, but still having the functionality of keeping the plants alive. Over here, I just have some um, planter boxes that I use. They're actually win window planter boxes. I just took the hooks off and just stuck them on the ledge. So again, you can use almost anything as a pot. I do have some uh, rose moss up here in the hanging baskets, which actually rose moss is completely edible. So uh, give a little step stool and grab those and put them in a salad. Uh, really good, pretty. I have a little miniature eucalyptus tree with some um, sweet potatoes growing in there and somehow squashy got stuck in there. So you can also plant around the main piece within a pot and then that way you always have, you're maximizing your space and you always have variety because we always, you know, talk about variety and it's really good to have a bunch of different spices and not use the same one all the time. Um, right over here, I'm just going to take a quick glance. I have my uh, Thai basil here. I have lavender, mix, uh, some more Cuban oregano. I got a, a, a rooster basil pot. I just love it to death. Uh, I got some barbecue rosemary, some dill, cilantro, um, and some more basil on there. So you can put any type of herb, any type of big plant in there. And it's really easy. Again, like this is just simply coconut husk that was cut to fit in here. A little bit of really good quality um, potting mix soil with some worm castings in it. Stick the plant in it. Just know that when you are using pots, they do dry out a little bit um, faster because the soil is a lot thinner because it's made to drain out. So just know that uh, you will have to do a little maintenance on it, nothing crazy. Just every other day water it the first week and after that, just when you start seeing it kind of get a little dry, that's all you need to do. So it's simple, fast, easy, right outside your door. Uh, I love pulling the basil and the chives off in the morning for breakfast. So quick, easy, simple. Anybody can do it. You can make any type of decor you want with it. So uh, have fun and happy gardening. Well, there you go, guys. She, she's sharing just how to do this, spoken like a true professional. So, hey, we hope this helped you out. If you don't have land to plant, hey, listen, don't sweat that. That is not a hindrance to you having your own edible landscape. You don't need true dirt to plant in. You can make your own dirt in some nice little convenient things around your home, some little planters. 
Easy stuff to do, guys. So listen, we hope this helped you out. If, it, if you felt like you got value in this, make sure you share this information. Let others know how they can do this. Give us a thumbs up down below so we can keep getting this information out there. Hey, we're looking forward to bringing you more information just like this. I'm Dr. Arlen Hill with Leah Hill, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.